say yes. It is wonderful being the best GMK figure out so far. I mean, look at me. I'm a Spitfire Atomic Blast. I come in with an accessory. I'm a phenomenon to the Godzilla fan community. Hey, Buster. Do you mind moving out of the way? Who and what are you doing here? Hello everyone, it is I, GojiMatzilla1994, and I apologize for any background noise, but anyways, today I'm going to be taking a review at the SH Monster Arts Godzilla 2001. This figure, um, or I guess this review of the figure is long overdue, but that's because I just got it today for Christmas. So anyways, what is my exact opinion on this figure? Let's see. For his bulky size and his huge proportions, I think this figure is incredible. Okay, so, starting off with the close-up of his face. So, using my zoom out, sorry, zoom in and out option, you can see that the overall paint and sculpt was done very well. Surely it's not accurate. I mean, the NECA in my book is more accurate. Uh, you, if my camera would focus, you can see the whitish, yellowish, brown teeth. Okay, guys, um, that should work better. Anyways, inside the mouth, uh, dang it. Uh, you can see some red in there. Apparently some gray too in there. But that's just because of the, um, thing inside the jaw. Because the entire body's, like, gray. And also, if you, if my camera would stop on focusing, um, my, the Godzilla eye looks pretty well done. From my perspective, it's gray, then white. Kind of blends together perfectly. And that's kind of it, what to say about this figure. I mean... Like, in terms of sculpt and paint, it's just the same thing. You have the sculpted details, yeah, maybe some white and here and there, but oh, other than that, it's just the same thing. So yeah, overall, in sculpt and paint, I wish he maybe had a little bit of um, a gloss to him. Like, he does have some gloss. Yeah, um, yeah, sorry for the background noise. But yeah, sculpt and paint, I'll give it a pass. Now it's time for my favorite part of all these Godzillas, articulation. So what do we have? So starting with the jaw, excuse me by the way, kind of burped. It's on a ball joint, believe it or not. And the tongue, I believe, is also on a ball joint. But something I notice is that when you, like, let's say you move it to the, to the left or your right. When you close the mouth the tongue starts to go on the opposite side. Look, watch the tongue. See? Yeah, that's just, uh, something. Anyways, uh, we have a ball joint here at the head. It can rotate all the way around. Uh, it can go side to side with it. Up and down. Same with this joint. You get a lot of motion with these joints right here. That causes him to look all the way up, but with the exception of this joint, too. You get a crazy amount of- Oh my goodness! Like, you can get a crazy amount of poses with this guy. Anyways, the arms. They're on ball joints. Up and down, side to side, your typical, n normal day, everyday Godzilla stuff. The bicep is also on a ball joint, similar to the NECA Godzilla GMK one. And as you can see, um, the elbows uh, are, on a, are on a hinge ball joint system. And here's where things get a little tough. So as you saw there, the hand popped off. And basically, it connects on a ball joint uh, with this sleeve. 
I really wish that the arm went all the way up here instead of having the sleeve because it just really bugs me that it pops off. Yeah, sure, you can use that um, nail polish trick, but sometimes that won't work. You have a crazy waist joint, which um, if you work the joint, kind of hinging it forward, you can get it all the way up here and GMK looking forward. And looking all the way back up. Like that. The legs, I tested this out before. Uh, they can go a full 360 degrees. The knees are on a... Oh, I forgot to mention this is also on a ball joint. Uh, the knees have a, kind of a weird connection. It's a swivel in here. And then a hinge here and a ball joint in here. And if you guys need proof, I'll pop this out. I don't know what that white paint is. But if you look in here, there's a swivel right there, hinge there, and a ball joint there. So it's a combination of all three joints combined. Which, if you have a swivel, hinge, and ball joint all together, it makes for some crazy movement. Here at the ankle, uh, you have a ball ball joint with a free floating piece for some reason for the tail I counted about 16 to 15 segments on the tail counting like sleeves and ball joints together just whenever there's a seam line I count it so um, the tail can go that straight uh, the tail can go up about I'd say that this high it's not a particularly long tail, but it's still a decent length. Also, this part right here is super loose and loves to pop off on me. So yeah. In terms of articulation, this Godzilla is spectacular. Monster Arts figures have been known to have lots of articulation, but to fall off easily. But anyways, that brings me to the next segment, art um, accessories. Which, unfortunately, he has none. But, I do have myself covered with a couple beams. Um, if you guys don't know, in the movie, obviously, he finds a beam. But, I also have his counterpart, the NECA Godzilla 2001 Atomic Blast version, actually. Which, if you guys are wondering if this is compatible, no way. Because, um... It looks good, but you'd probably need like a little stand, because the teeth just don't fit in there. So yeah, it's only meant for him. Another way you could possibly do that is with this. Like that. Or, there's more options, make your own custom beam, like I did here. I don't know what it looks like. Um, that looks good, I guess. Not the best. But, um, yeah, if you guys want to know how to make that, link in the description below to kind of, uh, videos that are similar to how you make it, plus mine, too. So, yeah, for sizing, here is, he is with the NECA Godzilla 2001. He's slightly taller, but I'm pretty sure that if NECA, the NECA Godzilla, was able to, like, stand more upright, I think he has a glitter on him. Then he'd be able to stand up a little taller than him, or possibly even as tall as him. So yeah, um, this figure is a pretty epic figure. In my opinion, you should buy it before, uh, like, of course you're gonna have to have the aftermarket prices. But in my opinion, it's worth it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.